Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Action Force on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Right, good reason why I want to review this version, because I originally had this back in the day on the Amstrad CPC and recently reviewed it. And it was difficult, let's, say, let's put it this way, it was very difficult and you only got the one life. I also played the Commodore 64 version, and that was similar, well, pretty much the same as the CPC version, but it was slightly more difficult. But this Spectrum version seems completely different. Right, so uh, let's get on with it. Um, the Gang of Five presents Action Force. So Action Force was a range of toys back in the 80s. Um, I think that's, I think it was called G.I. Joe in America, then they brought a line of toys over and it became Action Man, and I think there were smaller figures which became Action Force. Something like that. My mate had Action Force. I remember him having loads of action force, action force figures and boats and planes and all sorts of things. Right. Okay. So we've got control options here. So I don't know what the keys are, so we'll just stick with Kempston. And let's play the game. So I can see the difference, it's a smaller screen for a start. Hmm. So we're flying this. We're flying I don't know, this is I mean in the Amstrad and Commodore's 64 versions, you was actually flying an helicopter. The seems here we're flying a helicopter blow on a helicopter backpack by the looks of it. So what annoys me, you can't stop, well now you can stop, for some reason it just carries on going, if you, the control, you push it right, it just carries on going right or left until you push the stick back to stop him. I don't like that, but up and down, don't, if you let go of the stick it just stops. So that's a bit, I don't understand what's going on with the control system here. Can you go, to, oh you can go, right, you can go diagonally. Okay. Right. I'm finding these controls annoying. So don't like the fact if you push in a direction, it's just going to carry on going on its own unless you stop. And that's by pushing the stick back. Yeah, I don't like the control system. Right. So I think the same principle is the same as the the Amstrad and the Commodore version where you have to get that Jeep across now unlike the this unlike the CPC and this spec this, oh, for fuck's sake unlike the CPC and the Commodore 64 version that Jeep will carry on going you know it's like a lemming driving the like driving a Jeep it won't stop it will just carry on going but looks like on the Spectrum version, the Jeep actually stops and waits for you to build the bridge. Right, so that's what we're going to attempt to do. Build the bridge. Oh, fucking hell. Stop! When I say stop, that's annoying. I really finding the controls annoying. Right, so... If I can get past this thing... Oh, fuck! And also, unlike the CPC version and the Commodore 64 version, you get at least three lives. Unlike the other versions, you only got the one life. Right, let's get past that. And let's see if we can attempt to pick up a part of the bridge. Right, oh, fucking hell. I am not liking this. I am not liking this. And something else is a problem. You're, you're looking at what looks like a letterbox. You need to see more what's going up and down on the screen, not left and right. You need to see what's going on up and down. And because it's like looking into a letterbox, you can't hardly see what's going on up, left or up and down until it's too late. <sighs> yeah, I'm really finding this really annoying. I was they gone for a different direction in this game, but why? Why can't I push in the direction 
and when I let go and stop, it'll stop. No, it don't do that. This is really annoying. I ain't even built, I ain't even got to the part of the bridge yet to start building. Come on, what's going on? Why? I'm pushing the button, nothing's happening. You gotta push space bar. What the fuck? Why can't you just push fire button? Five. <sighs> yeah, let's try again. Right. Wait for the rocket to go past. Yeah, I like this is a this a floor you can't see until you get right down, you can see what's Oh, watch that. Go, go, go. Right, now these are the part of the bridges. Good luck trying to pick these up. So, you've got to line up like that. It's flashing. Right, how the fuck do you pick them up? Right, when it's flashing, what? That pauses the game, that's... Is there a button I've got to push? Well, I'm pushing every button on the keyboard. No. So you've got to use your controller. So where do I do that? Right, fire and down. Firing down don't do nothing. What about firing up? Oh, it's firing up to pick up. Right, okay. Firing up to pick up. Come on. Oh, that was close. Now I've got to put it down. No, I don't. Stop bloody turning. Oh, this is bad. Right, now. Hang on. How do, I, how do I do... Right, no. Right, this is fucking awkward. Right, so we've finally done that. So... Okay, let's get rid of these. Right, now I've got to pick up this. Oh, lucky we lined up. Firing down. No, was it firing up? Have I got it? Right, I've got it, it's firing up. Don't fucking... Right, okay. Now we're perfectly lined up. Have we dropped it? No. You fucker! So you can shoot your own Jeep in this. And you got to do it all over again. Yeah, I am really, oh, fuck's sake, I am really getting annoyed with this. This is ridiculous. To be honest with you, I'm going to say this, I'd much rather play the CPC version. That was hard as fuck with its one life. But, the controls are nowhere as bad as this. You know, why would it, you, why can't you just push in the direction and when you release the stick, it'll stop. Why do you have to push the stick back and you've got to build the bridge again? This is just, why? Oh, fucking hell. And the screen is so small. This is another problem. I need to see more what's going down the bottom. You're always constantly in the center of the screen. What well, they should have done, made the screen bigger. This is too too small of a screen for a game like this. Controls could have been bad. Now I've got to line myself up with this. If you're not properly lined up, you ain't going to get it. Good luck with that. Now I can't bloody... Ah, oh, God almighty. Now you've got to be... Exact. Right, here we oh, See what I mean? 
Right, firing up. So. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I can't be fucked with this. I really can't. This, this game's got a lot of problems. And I thought the CPC and the Commodore 64 had its own problems. This has got way many, many more. The controls, for instance, I don't like them. I don't like the fact you've got to push on the stick um, to stop it. You know, you push in the direction. It, that's how it should work. You push in the direction you want to go, it should go. You release on the stick, it should just stop. No, not with this. Um, you've got to pull on the stick the other way to stop him. If you're lucky, otherwise you're just going in the other direction. If you're a little bit too hard on the stick. So the controls are flawed. The screen. Up and down needs to be more of a screen that you can see with a game like this. You're very limited for what you can see. It's wide. You don't get me wrong, it's wide so you need to see what's coming. Um, but all the, it seems like the missiles are going from are going up the screen. So you need more um, in the way of vert you need a more see more vertical. It's too horizontal this game, you need more vertical screen. Yeah. Graphically it wasn't that great. I much preferred the CPC and the Commodore 64 versions. But to play and to top it off if you make a mistake you've got to replay the level all over again. So what's the then it then it comes into question what's the point of having all these lives? Because it was the CPC in the Commodore 64 version, you only got the one life, you fuck up, that's it. The only thing about this version that the Jeep stops. So the Jeep actually stops for you to wait to build the bridge, unlike the CPC and the Commodore 64 version where the Jeep carries on going regardless. If you don't fill in the hole, it'll fucking fall down that hole and it's game over. Yeah, so every version I've played of Action Force has major problems, but I would say this is the worst. Yeah, it has serious problems. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.